Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is K. Michelle, My Life. This is episode three, season one. This was a really good episode. It really was. Kay's mom and her, her son, Chase, came in town. So it was so good to see. And this is not going to be a long review. You all know that because the show is short. But it was so good to see her actually hanging out with Chase. And, and you actually got to see she does have a good relationship with her baby boy. And they vibe. They played basketball. And they went bowling. And it was, you know, all of that was just really cute and fun. And especially after watching Love and Hip Hop, um, you know how damn bad they clown. So, you know, you're coming off of all that to actually see someone acting like they got some sense. It's cool. It really is cool. And I am really, I keep saying this, but it's the truth. I'm really so proud of Kay Michelle and the way that her show is going. But there was nothing out of the way um, around Chase. It, he was handled. She's doing and showing you that she's doing everything that she actually says that she does. You can't read her. She has not lied. She told you that this is the relationship that she has with her son. And now she's showing you on film. This is a relationship I have with my son. Period. And it's there. You know, again, I don't really know Kay Michelle to be a liar. I don't. I just, I've never seen her caught up in a lie. Whatever she says is going on is what I've seen go on with her. So fuck it, Kay. Do your thing. You know, but it was funny, and when he was um, imitating Drake and imitating different ones, and then he imitated her, I about screamed. He had K down. He said, girl, you don't want this. You don't want this. I said, oh, my God. Then he going to sing. I said, boy, he's a mess. He's a mess. That goddamn Chase got jokes. But that was really good. Then they had the birthday party for her. It was really cute. It was turned up. But it was cute. They were carrying on acting a fool. And they had the um, drag queen dressed as Kay. And she enjoyed that. And she was pretty good. She really was. She's pretty good. So that was cool. Um, then, you know, we got to have a little piece of some drama. That Nima. I want that fucking Nima out of the house. I want her out. I want Tracy out. You know, Tracy, that bitch is crazy. When she said, when Kay told her, bitch, you are the dog sitter. She got an attitude. Something about the dog. Bitch, you're not living here for free. She told you you could stay here. And in return, you're going to be the dog sitter. You didn't know you was two dogs sitting though, Because you needed to watch the little dog and that big bitch. That Nima. She needed her to watch her too. Because that bitch is shady. And we're going to see coming forward. Kate, I went to the little, uh, you know, to her, her counselor and all that. Her psychologist and all that. All that needs to go. Them motherfuckers need to be out of her house. Period. Because they are in there just like taking over. When name is going back and forth, forth about, well, I'm, I'm going to want out to have sex, but you're not going to have it in here, bitch. And I know that's kind of rough to be telling a grown person what they're going to do and what they're not going to do, but you're not going to do it in here. And I don't blame her. She don't need every Tom, Dick, and Harry knowing where she lives. You know? No, she may not be a big star to them. But who knows? You bring a guy in there and then he telling somebody something and the next thing you know your fucking house is robbed. She need to get all the motherfucking stragglers out of her address and pronto. And I think she knows it. She knows it. You know, but she went the fuck off on him. But that Nima, she's starting to get up underneath my goddamn skin. And I can see I'm going to be getting her soon. She need to get her shit going with her ugly ass. Funny looking bitch. But anyway, can't stand nobody coming in there acting foolish. And then Tracy comes. I'm not big on buying gifts. I guess the fuck you're not, you broke motherfucker. She gave her the best gift of all, though. She's going home. See you. See you. Oh, fuck her. But anyway, that's basically it. That's all that really went on. Hopefully in another episode or two, we'll get rid of Nima. All right, guys. So that was basically it. That's all that really went on. We seen Chase, we seen the mama, the mama talked to Kay, told her she was proud of her, and that she do worry about her and all of that. It was good to see her. She looks like her mom, too. She favors her mom. Um, but like I said, I really did enjoy um, seeing the time that she spent with little Chase. That was really funny. Um, get that motherfucking name out of your goddamn house, okay? Get that bitch out. Get her out quickly. And that Tracy, whenever she go, leave that bitch wherever she end up. Wherever she bounce and, and land, leave that bitch wherever she lands, Kay. Because you don't need that fucking aggravation. You do better hiring a motherfucker you don't know the house it. 
All right, guys. So that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Thumbs up or thumbs down. You know what to do. I'll see you guys later. Bye.